Hello and welcome back everyone to the Olympia Dynasty and we are here in week 13 taking on the Houston Cougars and what will be our second to last matchup of season 8. This is a fun one against a pretty decent team um, here at the end of the season. Uh, one of our last two home games, the last two games of the regular season. A win here gives us a chance to make the Big 12 championship game but BYU or Utah State probably will still make it. We'll see coming up soon after this. Off we go here in Salt Lake City. Olympia, and we will take this one back. Derek Canary out to the 31. Nice return there. Olympia starts its day at the 31. Black five, black five. Steve Cox will motion over here on second down and nine. Armstrong rolling out left. And he'll just take off and run with this one, gets about three yards. Interesting decision there. You don't like seeing that considering Armstrong's injury history. Now Armstrong dropping back, throwing this one deep, and he hits Ty Crease. Looks like the corner was playing inside leverage there and just hit Ty, Ty on the outside shoulder. Now Thomas getting six yards, and it's now second down and four. Thomas has had a really, really good season. Second down and four. Rutherford sitting in that little zone there nicely. Looks like nobody was manned up on him, and he gets about seven yards on the reception. First, now second down and ten. Screen pass out to Kurt Doherty, two yards. It'll be third and eight. Armstrong under center, dropping back. Armstrong throwing this one up for Schuster, and that's caught down to the 11 yard line. And Zach Schuster, nearing a thousand yards, has a chance to get it this game will be his second consecutive thousand yard campaign. This one thrown a little short for him. He has to come back and grab the ball and still gets four yards out of it. A uh, good pass there would have been a touchdown. Third and six play action. Stitch Robinson in the back corner of the end zone. Corner pocket, Stitch touchdown. So Houston on offense for the first time today and Smith caught down by his shoelaces. That's Curtis Simpson who has had a phenomenal senior campaign after a disappointing junior season. Third and 10 now Covington throwing this one out to Pollard. Pollard short of the first down that was soft zone there from Olympia. It'll be fourth and two and Houston going for it inside their own 50. Covington finds Griffin for a first down. A dangerous call pays off there. Tyrone Griffin with the three yard needed for a first down. Now second down and 10. Smith in motion already. A lot of motion from this Houston team. And this one's a throw out to Tyrone Griffin. 15 yards in the corner there. First down. First and 10. Covington throwing this one out to Pollard as he gets rocked. Pollard catching it and pushing his way forward for an extra three yards there. The 11 yard reception would be first and 10 now. Covington, read option, keeper. And he's got a 10-yard run. Houston moving chains here. First and 10. Man in motion. Lot of motion for this Houston team. And somehow Tyrone Griffin's open in the back of the end zone. Looks like uh, the zone never really saw him there. It was a two-deep zone. They ran three vertical. Hand off. Doherty caught in the backfield. Three-yard loss. This has been the story of Kirk Doherty this year. Can't get much going because he just hasn't had a lot of great blocking. Eddie Jong now outside. We've seen a lot more success running it outside using the speed of our two running backs there. Jong went healthy and J.J. Thomas. Now third and five. Armstrong throwing this one out to Eric Dawson on the in route. And he's got it. Down to the 50-yard line with 50 seconds remaining in the first. And that's a nice play. Second down and nine. Armstrong. He's going to shoot this one deep. Schuster has to lean out for it. That would have been six. It's still a 50-yard pass down to the five-yard line, and Olympia going in the second quarter with a seven, uh, zero-point lead, but a chance to go up seven points here. Second down and goal. Handoff. Doherty kicks the second quarter off with a touchdown. And 
just like that, Olympia has doubled their score. Sounds impressive when you say it like that. First and ten, Tyrone Smith, or actually that's Aaron Smith, his uh, brother there, gets eight yards, and it's now second down and two. Not the first uh, brother combo we've seen in the Big 12. Covington now finding Griffin. It's a 10-yard reception there. Now second down and eight. Covington dropping back. Runs out of time and avoids the sack by throwing it away. Really heads up play there by Covington. Good pass rush from Olympia. Now third and eight. Thrown to Tyrone Griffin and somehow in double coverage he comes down with it. He's been shredding our defense so far. First and 10, Covington, Pollard this time. It's either Pollard or Griffin, it seems. And Sam Pollard now with 15 yards there. Now first and 10. Covington alone in the backfield, throwing this one out to Perry, a first sighting of Perry today. The 14 yard catch in the first down there. Now first and 10. No motion here for a little bit from Houston. Is this one thrown out to Tyrone Griffin, who's inside the five now? 13 yard reception, it's first and goal. Second and goal from the two, Covington. Almost intercepted, broken up by Curtis Simpson. A really heads up play there. And now a chance to get a goal line stand here. Third and goal, Covington. Throwing this one out the back of the end zone, just throws it away. And coach signals for a field goal. So Houston settling for three. Now kicking off to the most dangerous returner in the nation. Kanairi taking this one out. Hits the Jets. Kanairi gets down to the 48. Really good tackle there in the open field. First and 10. A little read option here on a trap. Armstrong gets about six yards there. Makes it second down and four. Third and four now. Read option, a uh, triple option it looks like, as it's a pitch out to Thomas last second, and he stretches for the first down. First and 10. Now second down and 11. Armstrong throwing this one on a slant to Zach Schuster, a deep slant there. The 21 yard catch, and Schuster already almost over 100 yards today. And off up the middle on the counter, 36 yards. The second down and three. Olympia in the red zone. Armstrong motioning out, throwing the screen to Schuster. He gets five yards there. Picks up the first, and now it's first and goal from the eight. Rutherford in motion. It's a play action to him, and then a screen out to him, actually. A nice block there from Bob Haylick, and Rutherford's down to the half inches line there. Really, really good play. I like that one a lot. Hand off. Kevin Tate bowls over the defender for a touchdown. And everybody got involved on that drive. What a fantastic drive. So 21-10, Olympia with an 11-point lead. A chance to blow this thing open. We can get a few more stops and a few more scores. Cole Dean, six-yard catch there. Now third and four, empty set for Covington. Drops back, over the middle, finds Robertson. Robertson down to the about 36, or 46 yard line rather. Now first and 10, Covington handoff. Smith stood up in the backfield. Never had a chance. Justin Jackson, the relief linebacker coming in making a nice play. Now handoff to Smith and this time he stood up on the other end. That's Curtis Simpson. Our linebacking pool really stepping up here. Third and 15, Covington takes the short out. That's a three yard catch and it'll be fourth and long. So Olympia chance to go up three scores here. Already up two and it's a nice run there for four yards, but you only have 30 seconds. So a run there is not the best call. Has to burn a timeout. Now throwing this one out to Schuster. I think Priest was open for a touchdown there. If you look the other direction, hard to blame him for focusing on Schuster though. Handoff now on a buck sweep to Kurt Doherty and Bob Haylick just can't get out there in time. If Bob Hayless seals the edge there, that's a 30-yard run. Now second and five. Thomas in motion. A little wonky at the line there. But he does find him. Thomas down to the three-yard line. He had a bit of a hiccup at the line of scrimmage, but still got it out. And with four seconds left, we're going to go for the touchdown. Quick screen out. Ty Priest walks it in. Touchdown, Raiders. And it's a three-score lead. As they're looking to close out their season strong. 28 to 10 going into halftime. We'll see you here in the second half. The 
matter here in the second half is it looks like Houston performing a shift here. It's a handoff. Smith brought down in the backfield. That's Sam Franklin coming up for the stop. Second down and 11. You'll notice Olympians run a lot more zone blitz down the stretch of the season. It's Paley a lot to get to TFL. They've run a lot of zone blitz. They've run a lot of cover three. A lot of guys in the box trying to stop runs while also mixing up coverages and blitzes. First and 10 now handoff. JJ Thomas, oh, look at the moves. Michael Jackson in the backfield there. JJ Thomas with an eight yard run. Moonwalked back a little bit. Looked like prime uh, Barry Sanders, I guess you could say, if it's not too uh, sacrilegious there. Now third down and seven. Olympia letting the clock run. Throwing this one out to Eddie Jong. And Jong fights for it for a first down. The second effort gets them the new set of chains. And I've liked what I've seen from Eddie Jong. He does project as our feature back next year. Gordy with the handoff of seven yards there, or five yards rather, to make it third down and three. Full house backfield, Jong motioning forward. It's a handoff to Doherty, does not get the first down. And Olympia will send out Phil Givens. It's about a 37 yarder and Phil Givens just couldn't hook it in the uprights. That's not great there. He has not been the best this year. First down and 10, Covington drops back, set. And that is Curtis Simpson brought on the linebacker blitz. We haven't seen him rush the passer since we moved to the 43 too much. But a nice play there from him. Now third and 13, Robinson brought down short of the first down line. And that'll be another punt. Olympia is really starting to control this thing. Controlling the pace especially. Armstrong dropping back on the play action. He's got crease open, finds him. 2010, nobody will stop Ty Crease. Ran the double post there, and he gets the touchdown. Just gets behind the safety. Cornerback never stood a chance in main coverage. Smith now at the four yard run. It'll be second down and six. Empty backfield here for Covington, dropping back. Throws this one out, that's caught by Griffin. First and 10. Griffin has had quite the day so far. Now second down and seven. Smith in motion again. They really love this running back motion. Kind of makes it a five wide set with uh, the running back really performing the duties of a wide receiver much of the game. Something I think we could see Eddie Jong get used for next year. Not to look too far ahead. We got a game right in front of us. Just uh, theory crafting. Now first and 10, now second down and four with 30 seconds left in the third quarter is Covington just got it out before another Curtis Simpson sack. And unfortunately, that's a 21 yard reception. The problem with the zone blitz, when you beat the blitz, you get a large gain. So that'll end the third quarter, a four score lead for Olympia, 35-10, your score headed into the fourth. We are here at the top of the fourth quarter. Covington inside the five. Steps back, finds Aaron Smith. Again, the running back has performed the duties of a wide receiver today, and they score the touchdown. Screen pass now to Zach Schuster, and if he didn't get caught by his shoestring, that was for six. Now second down and one. Play action, Armstrong should have audibled out of that one. And that's a big sack. Third and eight now is Olympia is letting the clock run. Armstrong throwing this one up for grabs and Schuster can't come up with the jump ball. Great defense there by the corner and we'll have to punt. So second down and seven. It is still a three score game. It would take three full scores. And Griffin almost gets a touchdown on that play. He's over 100 yards today. Now first and 10. Covington dropping back, throwing this one out to Smith. And I'm tired of seeing the running back catching five yard ends. Second down and three. Smith in the backfield, surprisingly. Stays there, Covington. Finds Mason, Akeem Mason. We haven't called his name once today, but he'll get his first catch as a touchdown. Uh, now kicking back to Olympia. Derek Kanairi to fill this one at the four yard line, a short kick there. And Kanairi bounces this one outside, breaks a tackle, and Kanairi cuts inside, breaks another man's ankles, and he's gone. 30, 20, 10, touchdown. Derek Kanairi 
who has been the most electric returner possibly in the history of the NCAA. I think back to Percy Harvin. I think back to uh, Jeremy Macklin. But today, it's Derek Canary. First and 10 now. Deep throw here to Perry, and Perry's kind of... I don't know where Sean Pratt thought that one was going. A terrible play. And Houston, just like that, has even things back up to where they were a second ago. So, first and 10 for Olympia. Time now to run the clock. Second down and five. Four minutes laying in the game. You just need a few first downs here to really seal this thing. Schuster with a nice juke. Unfortunately, runs out of bounds, and that will stop the clock. So, not the most heads up play there. Second down and nine. Doherty in motion. Armstrong will just take off with this one. Didn't like what he saw on the screen. Slides down in bounds, and now Olympia gets to really start dwindling this clock. Hand off. Doherty gets about five yards there. Second down and five. Houston now burning timeouts. Doherty in the backfield again here. And it's a counter. Doherty with the first down. And then some stiff farming his way inside. He figured things out. Must have gotten a talking to after the last out of bounds. And now Olympia really in control of this game. Third and five inside of two minutes. And another first down all but ends it. Handoff. Thomas does not get the first down. So Olympia will settle for three here. And Houston will get the ball back with one more chance down 14. Covington, a draw play on first and 10. You don't have timeouts. That might be one of the worst calls I've ever seen. Covington throwing this one to Tyrone Griffin. He gets a first down. That does stop the clock, but you got to get back to the line and hurry up. First and 10, Houston throwing this one. Pollard, another first down, but I mean, you got to take more vertical shots than this. You got 20 seconds to score 14. 15 seconds now, Covington. Too long, just throw it up, and he's sacked, and that will end the game. Dick Parrish ends this one. Christian Armstrong, your player of the game, and what a game from Olympia. We are heading into the senior game against BYU. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.